Hey guys, what's up? It's Spencer from Flight Director, and today we're here for another episode of So You Want to Edit. This episode, we're going to be taking a look at how to use the FS Recorder render feature. This, like Fraps, which we discussed last week, is a very useful tool for recording uh, videos, um, recording the sim. And the one downside to this feature is that you cannot record sound. However, the greatest thing about this feature is that it guarantees that you will have smooth FPS because of the way it works. Um, for those of you who do not have experience with this, instead of recording the sim in real time, it slows down the sim so that it re can record it at the FPS that you set. So, without further ado, let's look into it. So. I'm going to assume that you installed FS Recorder video render feature as we discussed uh, uh, two weeks in the first episode. So you want to go to FS Recorder, render video. All right. So now we are here, video rendering. Uh, as a note, you cannot use this feature in full screen, so just set it to um, in windowed mode. So video size, FS window size, frame rate. I choose 60 FPS. Codec, um, check, check Windows Media Video 9, Advanced Profile, Constant Quality Bitrate, Quality 100%, Complexity 1, Show Info Effort to Render, and this lets you watch the video after you're done rendering it, um, which is very useful if you want to check to make sure that everything went smoothly. Uh, hide Playback Display. Uh, for those of you who know FS Recorder, there's always this little bar right here it, that shows how far you in through the replay. That would hide that bar right here. Hide FS Info Text and Menu Bar. That would hide the Alt Bar up top. I personally don't see the need to remove that, so I just leave that there. So then you'd press OK, and then you would check where you want to save it. Uh, I'm not going to do a render through here. But, so then you would render, let's say the video is rendering, and then you would go FS record, or you would, you could uh, do FS recorder, and then there would be a button right here, stop rendering. And then the file would be wherever you saved it. So, that's it for episode three of So You Want to Edit. I hope you guys learned something today. Um, come back next week, and we're going to continue this series. For Flight Director, this has been Spencer.